Hey everyone, welcome in to the first ever football video on this channel. Today we're going to talk about the biggest transfers in the Premier League by today's date, which is the 31st of July. Starting off, the very first player on our list is, and the most expensive one is none other than Declan Rice. Declan Rice is, is a player who initially started his career actually in Chelsea Youth in 2013, but then he ended up in the West Ham Youth and has been in West Ham ever since then. So Declan Rice is one of the most promising players in the English squad and also one of the most pro uh, promising defensive midfielders in the Premier League. So what are your thoughts? How is he going to fit in an Arsenal squad within this next season? Leave it in the comments below. Another Chelsea youth player who started his career back in 2015 and surprisingly left the club now on this transfer window and went to Manchester United is none other than Mason Mount. Mount left Chelsea for the total amount of 64 million euro. Your thoughts on this specific transfer? Why? Because I think everybody is completely shocked and surprised that he decided to move away from Chelsea, judging by how loyal he was to the club ever since he was a little kid. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. The third player on our list is another Chelsea player, Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz joined Chelsea back in 2020 and he only spent three years at the club. And mostly he switches positions from uh, attacking midfielder to an attacker. But now he decided to join Arsenal again on a shocking transfer for the amount of 75 million pounds. And Arsenal is going to play in his preferred position as an attacking midfielder. So I'm excited to see how he's going to progress there in the squad. Number four on our list today is uh, finally a goalkeeper and the only goalkeeper so far that we can talk about, which is Onana. So he joined only after spending one season in Inter United for a total amount of 52 million pounds. It was shocking for everyone because David De Gea has left the club after playing for so many years and he became a complete club legend. And now he's being replaced with a pretty promising youngster in the face of Onana. Number five on our list today is none other than one of the most promising defensive midfielders in Italy, Sandro Tonali, who has moved to Newcastle for 64 million after spending there two years. Do you believe that Tonali made the right choice to move to Newcastle? Let me hear your thoughts below. Moving on to number six on our list, none other than the world champ attacking midfielder McAllister, who has moved from Brighton after spending there three years into Liverpool and he also got the number 10 in Liverpool which is uh, pretty impressive. Number 7, we're going back to Chelsea and Chelsea finally bought an attacker in the face of Inkoku who has moved from Leipzig after spending there a total of 4 years. That was a very anticipated transfer for Chelsea because now they got finally an attacking player in the face of Inkoku and they bought it for 60 million euro. With number seven on the list, we're heading to Manchester City, where another shocking transfer again from Chelsea, which was one of the one of the club's biggest figures, Kovacic, has moved away after spending in the club four years with a deal of 29 million euro. I think Kovacic is going to be an excessively good asset to City in their midfield area. What are your thoughts on that? And last but not least, we're going again to Liverpool at number eight with Dominic Soboslai, who has moved. There, as an attacking midfielder, Liverpool has made two attacking midfielder signings in the face of Alisson and in the face of Soboslai. Soboslai moved from Leipzig, Leipzig after spending two years there for the amount of 70 million euro. This video, of course, didn't cover all of the biggest transfers so far in the Premier League, but I got a feeling we're gonna get a few more big names coming in. And we're gonna have another video soon, which will be with a lot of players that have actually left the Premier League. As most of you probably know, a lot of players have left the Premier League and went to, to play in the Saudi League. By far, which is your favorite transfer, which is your favorite least transfer from all of those eight players that we just discussed today? I would like to hear your opinion. If I can add the most shocking one for me was definitely Mason Mount moving from Chelsea to United. Because as somebody who actually uh, liked Chelsea and really liked now playing at Chelsea, it comes as a shocker and um, I'm a bit saddened that he left the club. In any case scenario, which signing out of these you think will be the most successful within the next season? And I guess we will find out soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And keep yourself notified by clicking on the subscribe button below as more future content will be available soon. Next topic will be covering after the group stages of the women's World Cup matches. See you soon!